Oh, okay, here. All right. Oh, geez. All right. So today, yeah, we're going to look at applications of logarithmic exponential functions. And it's 8.4. <laughs> so. All right, let's get into. All right, yeah. Let's make this happen. Let's make some magic happen. Math and magic. OK. All right, so uh, this is the applications. We've got outcome R10. I need to take my sunglasses off so that I can actually see what I'm writing. Example one. So we're looking at uh, the Richter scale. And the Richter magnitude, m, of an earthquake is defined as, and here's the equation, m equals the log of a divided by a naught, a naught or a, a sub zero. Um, here, a is the amplitude of the ground motion, and a naught is the amplitude associated with a standard earthquake. So here, this is the little scenario we're looking at. 1946, Haida, Gawaii, British Columbia, an earthquake with an amplitude measuring 10 to the 7.7 .7 times a O, A naught struck. So we've got this here. 10 to the power of 7.7 .7 times A naught. Okay? So we need to determine the magnitude of this earthquake on the Richter scale. So we've got m equals, and then the logarithm of that number, but this is also divided by a naught. So what do you notice is going to happen here? These are going to, yep. And then we're going to have m equals log of 10 to the 7.7. .7. What do we know about logs that have an invisible base? It's to the power of, it's to the base of 10. And so what can we say that this is here now? So what, what, what actually, what um, law can we use to bring this 7.7 .7 down? The exponential one. See, this is why it's my favorite one. <coughs> All right, so now I've got log 10 of 10. So what can you tell me about that right there? That is 1, right? So what is m? 7.7. .7. So just have a little note here for ourselves. Log 10. 10 is equal to 1. All right? So then that determines the magnitude of that earthquake. So the strongest recorded earthquake in Haida Gwaii was in 1949 and had a magnitude of 8.1 on the Richter scale. Determine how many times stronger this earthquake was than the one in 1946. Okay, so we need to do a little comparison here. So we'll look at 1949, and then we're going to look at 1946. Okay, so the magnitude on the 1941 sorry, the 1949 one is 8.1, so that's M. That's what M is, capital M. And this here, what's my other one? This is the capital M I'm going to use for the 1946. So log, and then we've got A over A naught. And then over here for this one, I've got 7.7 .7 equals log a over a naught. So now I've got two equations, and I need to solve for, what am I going to solve for, folks? A, okay? So if I change this to exponential, what is it going to look like? A over a naught equals, what's the base? 10 to the power of 8.1. And what about here? What's this one going to be? A over A naught equals 10, because that's the invisible base there, 10 to the power of 7.7. .7. OK. I want to isolate A, so I'm going to multiply both sides by A naught. OK. So 
so that's gone there. Got A equals 10 to the power of 8.1 times A naught. And this, same thing, multiply both sides by A naught. That cancels. I've got A equals 10 to the power of 7.7 .7 A naught. Okay, so I've got two equations here and I have to compare the two because I need to figure out how many times stronger the 1949 earthquake is as comparison to the 1946 one is. So now let's compare. So I've got the 1949 one And then in 1946. <coughs> so I'm going to take uh, this over this. So I've got 10 to the power of 8.1, A naught, 10 to the power of 7.7, .7, A naught. What do you notice happens here? Okay. And now, <coughs> depending on whether I have a calculator or not, this is how I'd leave it if I, haha. -ha, Depending if I have a calculator or not, or if I don't have a calculator, uh, the exponent rules, do you guys remember the exponent rules for when you have, when you're dividing? Yeah, so you're subtracting. So what's 8.1 8 subtract 7.7? 8.1 .7? 8 .7 subtract 7.7. .7. So I could either write 10 to the power of 0.4, uh, or I can find a calculator. I can't find a calculator. All right, so here, this is what I have on me right now. Got my phone. 10 to the power, 10 to the power of 0.4. All right, so 2.5, one, two times greater. All right. Times greater, times stronger, whichever. Okay. All right. The next question, example two, it says stuff about the pH scale. So we're looking at the pH scale, how it's used to measure acidity or alkalinity of a solution. It's defined as pH equals negative log H plus, where H plus is the concentration of hydrogen. Um, hydrogen ions, and it's measured in moles per liter. So flashback to chem. And uh, so a neutral solution, such as pure water, has a pH of seven, the closer to zero. Closer the solution is to zero, the more acidic the solution is. The closer the solution is to 14, the more alkaline it is. Okay, so a cola drink has a pH of 2.5, whereas milk has a pH of 6.6. How many times acidic is as acidic, how many times as acidic as milk is the cola drink? So here we're going to compare the two similar to what we just did. And this is calculated by comparing the number of ions in each substance. So here, let's set up our two equations that we know. Well, this is the pH and we're going to use this equation up here. So I've got the cola. So it's 2.5 and that's equal to the log of H plus. And the milk is 6.6 .6, and then we've got, that's negative log of H plus. Okay, so let's switch this to the exponential form again. Um, actually, why don't we first just take that negative one and divide both sides by negative one so that we end up with negative 2.5 equals log of H plus and six, negative 6.6 .6 equals 
log of h plus here. So we can compare the two in exponential form now. I've got 10 to the power of negative 2.5, and that is my h plus. And here I've got 10 to the negative 6.6 .6 equals my h plus there. So now if we're going to compare, I have, I want cola over the milk because uh, that's the one that I'm comparing it to. So if you remember last question, we had 1949 on the top. That's what we're comparing it to. So that's what goes on top. And then I've got 10 to the power of negative 2.5 and then 10 to the negative 6.6. .6. So here I'm going to need my calculator for that one to get an answer. Or I can, I can bring it down to 1. So minus negative. Okay, so that is what? 4.1. So 10 to the power of 4.1 is 12,589 times more acidic. I'm just going to leave it as a whole number. Okay, and let's compare an apple and a pear now. It's exactly the same. I think, you know what? Um, so we're, not we're not comparing apples and oranges. No, we're not comparing apples and oranges. We're going to compare apples and pears. So why don't I hit pause on this, and then you guys can try it, and we'll come back and show the solution. Okay, so we're back, and we're going to finish off the apple and pear question which, no, we're not comparing apples to oranges because you can't. All right, so um, here what we've done is we've looked at how acidic a pear is. Okay, so we set it up in our equation. I'll uh, make it a little bigger. Set it up in our equation, and we figured out how acidic a pear is. So this is how acidic the pear is. Now, it says here an apple is five times as acidic. So that means an apple is going to be five times your 10 to the power of negative 3.8. That's how acidic a pear is. All right, now let's figure out where it sits on the pH scale. So for pH, I know that it's negative log, and then I take this number for my H plus, five times 10, not 110, 10 to the power of negative 3.8. And I've got, you know what, I've got two brackets there just because I wanted to make sure that it was in there. So when we put that into our calculator, we've got, so negative log, five times 10 to the power of negative 3.8. I'm crossing my fingers. That didn't turn out in the right spot. Okay, so that's what I have typed in. And I end up getting 3.101. So, all right, so that's where it sits on our H scale, pH scale. Sweet. Okay, so I'm going to stop this video here, and I'm going to do example three on the next one. All right, so stay tuned, or I guess you're just going to have to wait for the next one to start. Or just stop it and start it yourself.